Miller also expressed support for the same immigration policies that Hitler backed. This isn't, this isn't a Stephen, courtroom, and I Stephen, have a right to settle speak. down. Settle down. Calm Look, down. Jake. I have a question for you about issues. So that's what Stephen Miller was hiding. Over the weekend, Miller made the rather odd move of endorsing Donald Trump. Will you come out and vote? For your country and your family and your children, are you prepared to seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Yes, of course, Miller is going to continue supporting his fellow racist Trump until the bitter end. But that's why the endorsement stood out as so odd. Why bother? And why now in June 2023 when no one's really paying attention? Why not wait until the start of primary season? Why not back when Trump first launched his phony 2024 campaign? It felt like this was one of those moves where Miller was trying to get some superficial headlines out there about him to distract from something else that might be coming down the pike. Sure enough, Rolling Stone is now reporting that Miller allegedly urged the Trump administration to launch drone strikes against migrant boats full of unarmed civilians in 2018. Oh my God! You evil and stupid! <laughs> it would be one thing for the drunk racist at the end of the bar to shout out such an idea. It's another thing when you're a White House official and you're formally urging the president and the United States military to carry out this kind of thing. Whether you could ever get a conviction for such a thing at trial or not, this incident, if it really happened, was nothing short of attempted mass murder on Miller's part. Welp, no one is surprised here. He has some serious self-hatred going on for sure. He's the guy who learned about the Holocaust in Hebrew school and thought those guys sound cool. The powers of the president to protect our country are very substantial and will not be questioned. 